most of my, actually all of, all of the things that I do are based on, uh, on the knowledge that it's extremely, extremely unlikely that it's going to do any harm. Um, I typically take molecules that have been in the body already for millions of years. NMN has been in the body for billions of years. And what we are doing by giving NMN is replacing what's lost with age. Um, speaking as generally, tissues just decline in their NAD production, NMN being a precursor um, by about 50% by the time you're my age. And I, I can raise those back up. And we actually, I actually know a lot more than the public thinks about the effects of NMN on the human body. I've been helping do clinical trials for about three years now. Uh, and we know it's safety um, to some extent. We know uh, how much it raises NAD in the body, in which tissues, uh, and we'll even have some efficacy uh, results uh, to tell you about next year. Uh, in mice, it extends their lifespan, it, it appears. We're doing more mice, but it looks really good, especially in females. And uh, it reduces um, obesity, improves lean mass, improves their metabolic flexibility, and delays their frailty, which is based on 20 measures of health, including hearing and eyesight. So based on all of that, I've had no issue with my father choosing to take it. I couldn't stop him. He's a grown man. He's a scientist himself. Um, but I don't have any concerns. There is something on the internet, unfortunately, that like a lot of stuff on the internet, that's just hype. Uh, it's in the same realm as metformin prevents you from building muscle. This one is that NMN will make your cancer grow more. It comes from a study from Washington University where they uh, depleted NAD from uh, brain cancer cells, and they grew slower. And the PR department of WashU put out a press release saying NAD makes cancer cells grow. Well, yeah, right. Uh, you know, that's that's kind of a, a misreading of the data, especially when you need NAD for life. So having less of it, of course, is going to make cancer cells grow slower. But giving them more doesn't seem to do that in our hands. We've tested it in a couple of cancer models. You know, in an abundance of caution, if you had a tumor, I wouldn't take NMN just because we don't know. But if you're healthy, right now, there's no evidence that it should have any negative side effects. The biggest side effect that we've seen anecdotally is in perimenopausal women. It might um, improve the health of the ovaries and put out more hormones. They tend to have shorter uh, menstrual cycles and, and heavier ones. Um, but other than that, uh, and that's consistent with our mouse studies showing you can reverse infertility in old mice. But other than that, I don't know of any downsides taking NMN and we haven't seen anything in the clinical trials either.